is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume for the purposes of closing. Gentleman is recognized. In closing, I again oppose this resolution because it is not an effective or constitutionally sound approach to resolving the war powers uh, questions in Somalia that many of us here are in fact looking to address. This resolution will harm U.S. interests in the Horn of Africa and make the American people less safe. To my colleagues who are serious about asserting Congress's constitutional role on issues of war and peace, let me say this. I have some encouragement from this debate that we will have further debates on talking about Congress's responsibility. I look forward to joining with the gentleman from Florida when I heard him talk about how climate change is affecting many of the areas on the continent. Look forward to working with you in that regards. Look forward to working with you and hope that we can get the speaker to bring over the repeal of the AUMF of 2002 that the Senate recently has voted on that we passed two years ago in the 117th Congress. So I come out of here looking at some areas of which we can work collectively on. And I urge you to join me to let's talk and work so that we can repeal and replace the 2001 AUMF with a narrower and time-bound scope. The issues we are discussing here today are pressing and relevant, but there is a better approach. I look forward to undertaking that approach with both of my colleagues on the floor and all of my colleagues in a bipartisan basis and hope that we will have this conversation and work closely together. Let me also make a correction. I gave credit to General Kelly on the statement of if we don't put more money into diplomacy, we've got to spend more on bullets. That was General James Mattis. So I want to make sure I give proper credit to the appropriate person uh, in our military. So let's work together. I think we have a real window of opportunity. You know, just listening to the president of South Korea who just gave a wonderful speech here. He talked about how we won World War II and the Korean War together with our allies, saving democracies, putting our values first. Let's do it. I urge my colleagues to join me in opposing this resolution, and then let's work together in a bipartisan manner, as particularly to help the continent of Africa. And I yield back. General